So here we have a coffee mug warmer, which is the mug teacup warmer. Um, it has uh, just main supply coming into it and uh, a little touch switch, which is supposed to switch it on to um, a medium heat or a high heat and then switch it off again, which is just touch sensitive. And that stopped working, <clears throat> so I wanted to get into it, which is actually surprisingly difficult to do um, without destroying it. Um, I didn't realise to start with that, what, that the, what's around the edge is actually made of aluminium. I thought it was plastic, um, but that's aluminium. This is glass. If you try and prise it up, it'll just shatter the glass or it'll um, chip off the glass. And that's what happened here. Um, so eventually I, um, well, turned it over. There's this uh, label, which is over the top of the earth connection. Um, and I couldn't, I found it very difficult to get underneath this, but eventually I just prised it open with a, uh, a screwdriver and what you do is you just have to get something slipped under there and then it's actually glued down so you just have to work it all the way around the outside and basically this is what you end up with so it's just got a little bit of glue that goes all the way around the edge let's take that off um, so inside you'll find just a little tiny little bit of glue that goes all the way around this aluminium ring then there's a, a plastic insulator that covers over to be stuck down to the uh, circuit board. You can see in the middle that's the heating element. This is, uh, and this is the controller. Again, pieces of, of glue, which are fairly easy to take off. Um, you can leave them out. And you probably need a screwdriver to do this. Um, I've already freed these, so it's relatively easy to get it off. So if you pull it all the way open, you'll see underneath this end is the where the switch is. Um, there's a little spring contact, which just makes contact. Uh, so I'm not quite sure how that works, capacitive or something, um, to switch it on and off. And, uh, and then there's a heating element, which is just in the middle. So interestingly, it's quite small. Um, so it really does just heat the very center. Um, and uh, that's about it. I, don't know what it was that failed on here. Um, but yeah, that's how you open it up if that's what you want to do. Let me know if you find a way of, of um, fixing it if it's broken. But this one is probably um, destined for the bin, I'm afraid.